Hey guys, this is Easy Crypto Hunter here, bringing to you a mining tutorial for the new coin Grin. Um, I know quite a few of you have already heard about it, some of you might not have. So a little bit about the coin first. It's a new um, algorithm called Mimblewimble. Wimble. Sounds funny, I know, but that, that's the truth. Um, it's a privacy coin and it's a new lightweight blockchain. So it's got a few interesting things going for it over a minute. Um, right now, it is the most profitable coin to mine. Although it is only on exchanges, it does currently have a Linux wallet, but that is a bit difficult to get your head around. So for now, we're just going to put it onto an exchange. So, you know, it's a bit more risky. The coin's only just under two weeks old now. And yeah, it's only on an exchange, so it's not in a wallet. So it is slightly a bit more risky than other coins. But right now, today it is the most profitable coin to mine. So this is why we're bringing this to you. So you can jump on it if you want to. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to register for the exchange that it's on. So if you head to bitforex.com, that's the exchange that it's currently on. Well, that's the one we recommend at least. That's the one where we've got coins into. We've got it out in Bitcoin. So that's one that we do recommend. So if you sign up for this, and all this will require is just an email and password. So we'll pop those in there. So the password needs a capital, a lowercase, and one number, so you don't make the same mistake I do. And then it needs a pre-verification, so if you click send, then it's going to send a code to your email before you've even signed up, just to verify that you've kind of got a real email. So if you head to there, grab that code, and then come back and pop it in there. And then when you pop that in, you should be okay, and you should be on. Yeah, so that's fine, you've registered for an account on there. And now we'll register for the pool which we're going to be mining to. So the pool that we're using at the minute is f2pool.com. So if you head over to there, all the links will be in the description anyway, so you won't need to go searching for it. So if you sign up for an account on there, so just like username, email, it'll again need a, a phone number for a pre-verification before you sign up for an account. So if you go down and fill all that in, And then again, it'll send an activation email, which you'll just need to click on, and then your account will be active. So if you log into there when it's active, And then this will be the home page. So first of all, if you go to the top right where it says BTC, click on the drop down for them and go to Grin29. That's going to be the pool that we're using. And this will where your miner will come up um, when it's switched on and you know, you'll get an average hash rate of what it's been doing. So the first thing we'll do is we'll add your payout mechanism. So that'll essentially just link this pool up to that Bit4X account so it's getting paid out automatically. So if you go to the top right where it says your username, it currently says Easy Crypto Video, but it'll have your username and a drop down. So if you head to there and then go to account settings, then over on the left you'll see payout settings and then click on Grin29 and add Grin29 address. That'll bring up this little box here and then it already has Bit4X, the recommended one at the top, so keep that in there. I'll make sure that is the chosen one. And then this address info of Grin29, what we're going to do is we're going to head back to Bit4x and then you need to grab your UID number from Bit4x. So if you hover above your email in the top right, it will give you your UID number below and then head back to F2 pool, pop that in. And then you'll also need to, it'll send a code to your phone. So if you send that, pop that in there and then save that. So then that's added fine. So you're now linked up to the account, um, your exchange account, so it'll pay out automatically. So 
So now what we'll need to do is we'll need to essentially just link the miners in simple mining up to this pool. So I've already got the, the configs for you. I'll put those in the description so you don't have to make your own. Um, from the testing we've done, the G miner and the B miner are pretty much identical performance right now. So we're just going to use the G miner in this example, but you know, you're more than welcome to use either if you want to do your own testing. So I'll put those in the description. So all you need to do is head to simple mining. So log into there and then go to your group config because we're going to set up a new group. So we're going to add that group. And then for this one, we're going to choose G minor. But there is the G minor and the B minor, so you know where they are. So the G minor one, we'll choose the most recent one because they're bringing out newer and improved versions every time. And then you can grab this from the description, but I'll grab it from here. So then what you're going to need to change, guys, is where you can see this easy crypto. That's essentially just a username. So you'll have signed up to f2pool.com with your username. So that you'll see now I'll put the, the easy crypto video in. And then if I go back to my f2pool account, you can see in the top right, easy crypto video. So you just need to make sure those two sync up. You know, keep the space in front and after it and then that's essentially all you need to do just change that one word to your username for the f2 pool and then that's fine so you know give a group a name then add that group and then head to your rig list and then you know select one to however many rigs you've got however many you want to put onto this and then you can select from the drop down pop it on and then once that group's been selected all we need to do now is just overclock so these overclocks are specifically for the 1080Ti's and 2080's, the RTX 2080's. Um, so 100 cores, zero memory, 160 power and you know about 70, 70 to 80 fan is fine. So they're the overclocks that we're using specifically for those two types of cards. Okay so when you've done that I'm just going to show you now just how to check that it is mining. Um, so once you've saved those overclocks if you head to the, the console icon and when you click on that, that's just going to bring up your new screen. Um, it's going to have to download a new miner because you won't have probably used it before. So you'll see on my console now, it's just going to download the miner and then it will start to obviously hash. So the measurements that Mimble Wimble is measured in is different to normally. So, you know, it's normally measured in hashes per second, mega hash, whatever familiar ones, but this is graphs per second. So what you'll see, you'll see share accepted, and then a number and MS coming down. That means that you know you are mining your shares have been accepted, and then further down the line you will see a figure and then G per second. So that's just graphs per second. That's what this is measured in. So if you see in them, you've got some good numbers, then that's fine. You know it's mining. I mean, you can also go back to f2pool.com, double check on there that um, your hash rate's been registered, and then you'll see the grin starting to accumulate in there and then the pool will automatically pay you out every day. So that's it, that's as easy as it is guys. So if you've got any questions, um, as ever, drop us an email or give us a call and we'll be happy to help you with anything you need.